Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about small bowel obstruction on ultrasound. First, we will look at the symptoms that are present in a patient with small bowel obstruction. The first one is abdominal discomfort or pain. It is a non-specific sign. Abdominal distension can strongly indicate a small bowel obstruction. A greenish yellow vomitus or foul smelling feculent vomitus is often seen in patients with small bowel obstruction. Severe constipation can strongly indicate small bowel obstruction. Many patients with small bowel obstruction are unable to pass stool. Partial obstruction may allow for occasional bowel movements. We will compare the normal image of the bowel with small bowel obstruction. This is the normal bowel. It is appearing collapsed and you can see distinct layers of the bowel. The normal small bowel wall thickness is usually less than 3 millimeters when the bowel is distended. If it is collapsed, the wall may appear thicker but this is normal in a non-distended bowel. The normal diameter of the bowel is less than 3 cm. The image on the right is a case of small bowel obstruction. You can see a dilated hypoechoic fluid filled bowel. The diameter is more than 3 cm. In early obstruction, you may find hyperperistalsis on real-time imaging, a to and fro appearance of the intraluminal contents is seen in real-time imaging. You will find intestinal contents moving to and fro which indicate hyperperistalsis, an increased peristaltic movement usually seen in early obstruction. During late obstruction, or ischemia, you may find decreased or absent peristaltic movements in a dilated fluid filled bowel. This is another case showing small bowel obstruction. A dilated fluid filled bowel is seen. It had absent peristalsis indicating late obstruction or ischemia. Another feature often seen in small bowel obstruction is the hyperechoic prominent appearance of the valvular conduits, the intestinal folds. These intestinal folds appear hyperechoic and more prominent in a small bowel obstruction. Normally, they are not very clearly seen. In this normal image of the bowel, you can see the five distinct layers. The innermost hyperechoic layer is the mucosa, the interface of superficial mucosa and the lumen. The second layer is hypoechoic. It is the deep mucosa. The third layer is hyperechoic. It is the submucosa. And the fourth layer is muscularis propria. It is hypoechoic and the outermost layer is the serosa. It is hyperechoic. The layers have alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic echogenicity. The innermost and the outermost layers are hyperechoic. In the image on the right, we have another dilated fluid filled hypoechoic bowel with a diameter greater than 3 cm. It had to and fro appearance of intraluminal contents, which was seen on real-time imaging. It indicates hyperperistalsis often seen in early obstruction. This is another image showing normal bowel. You can see its various layers clearly. In the image on the right, we have 
dilated fluid filled hypoechoic bowel in a case of small bowel obstruction peristalsis was absent in this case also there is hypoechoic free fluid outside the bowel loops fluid seen outside bowel loops usually indicates bowel ischemia or infarction this triangular shape of the hypoechoic free fluid seen between bowel loops is called the tanga sign it has a triangular shape this is the tanga sign often associated with small bowel ischemia or infarction this is another case showing the tanga sign you can see a triangular fluid collection between bowel loops this is the tanga sign the bowel loops are dilated and appear hypoechoic with prominent hyperechoic intestinal folds peristalsis was absent in this case this is another case of small bowel obstruction with dilated hypoechoic fluid filled bowel the diameter was greater than 3 cm and you can also see prominent hyperechoic valvular connivence the hyperechoic prominent intestinal folds dilated hypoechoic fluid filled bowel are somewhat easier to scan than normal bowel because they are dilated and they are filled with fluid because of the fluid content it is easier to see small bowel obstruction you may also find a transition zone collapsed bowel can be seen distal from the obstruction this transition from dilated bowel loops proximally to collapsed bowel distally is an important finding in small bowel obstruction it helps to localize the site of obstruction here is another case of small bowel obstruction the diameter was greater than 3 cm the bowel wall thickening in this case was greater than 3 mm an increased bowel wall thickening can also be seen in some cases in this case there was to and fro appearance seen on real time imaging the intraluminal contents had a to and fro appearance which indicated hyperperistalsis this is another case of small bowel obstruction with dilated hypoechoic fluid filled bowel loops the bowel wall thickening was greater than 3 mm and this case had hyperperistalsis indicating early obstruction when these findings are seen on ultrasound a ct scan is performed to confirm the diagnosis of small bowel obstruction thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.